US Secretary of State John Kerry is in Moscow with a busy schedule in front of him. He's here to see President Putin in the Kremlin over the situation in Syria. At the moment, he's actually in talks, though, with the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov. The world benefits when powerful nations with a long history with each other have the ability to be able to find the common ground. And today, I hope we can find some common ground. John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov are no strangers. In fact, they have met 20 times this year alone. The Russian Foreign Ministry says the visit was organised at the urgent request of the White House. With more, here's RT's correspondent Daniel Hawkins. They seem to have got off to a positive note. Kerry has said that uh, despite their very obvious uh, differences, Moscow and Washington can put them aside uh, to find some sort of common ground to find solutions to major diplomatic crises. He cited the recent Iran uh, negotiations as an example of this, where Russia was a key broker uh, between the parties involved. Syria, of course, is the topic of these discussions that follows on from the Vienna peace talks which concluded last month uh, which concluded that there is a need for elections in Syria a new constitution and also perhaps a truce uh, which would take place uh, from the 1st of January but there are of course some stumbling blocks the major one would be the direct negotiations between the Assad government and uh, the rebels uh, of course all parties in this uh, in this crisis acknowledge that the priority here is fighting and defeating ISIL. That is the main aim uh, and the main interests of all parties involved in this. Uh, Russia has, of course, been providing that air support to the Syrian army in their fight against ISIS. Uh, but the Russian military also confirmed on Monday that they are now providing air support to the FSA, to the Free Syrian Army, which is the largest uh, opposition group on the ground in that country. So Russia here really is doing the job of engaging both sides uh, of this conflict in defeating uh, this massive terrorist organization, ISIL. So it's Kerry's second trip to Russia in the last seven months, even though uh, just a year ago the White House declared the isolation of Russia. Russia is isolated. Russia seems to be quite isolated uh, globally. We will ensure that this isolation deepens. The isolation, the isolating... The isolation... And political isolation of Russia. There is no objective to isolate Russia. There is, it is not a goal to isolate Russia at all. Former US diplomat Jim Jatras thinks that there's rising awareness in the West of the need to talk to Moscow. There has been some moderate change in the tone. It's a little less insulting, a little less hostile. And I think that reflects the degree to which so-called isolation of Russia simply hasn't worked. Remember a few weeks ago at the G20 meeting in Antalya that Mr. Putin was one everybody wanted to talk with. He was everybody's favorite dance partner in Antalya. So he is not the, the pariah that some American policymakers would like him to be, but rather he is the sought after essential partner, including for a lot of uh, America's allies. Uh, one thinks, for example, Mr. Netanyahu going to Moscow right after the Russians began their air campaign in Syria. So yes, I think there's some awareness we need to talk to the Russians, but then that gets down to the question, talk to them about what and agree on what. And unfortunately, I don't see a whole lot of change in the American position so far.